Geometry Dash 2.2 recently got its third sneak peek, and in this video, I'm gonna review every single one for major things you might have missed. Our first sneak peek was released on August 13th, 2021, being the 8th anniversary of the game. When entering the level, we're instantly previewed many things. Firstly, the cube is able to change its glow, which is something impossible in Update 2.1. We're also shown what the new camera effects look like, which look amazing. Can't wait for what the recent tab looks like. Later into the level, we're also shown the new arrow trigger, which is like the gravity portal, but you can change the direction in any way, allowing you to even climb walls. The introduction of the future does feel very forced though, as I doubt many players would understand what to do here. Even I don't understand what to do here, and I've been playing the game for 4 years. This also goes the same for the new F blocks introduced here, which allow you to switch gravity on the block you land on. The feature is very neat, but there's next to no indication, forcing you to take a shot in the dark on where to land. Some arrows here could go a long way. Unlike everything else though, the swing copter introduction is very solid. For such a big update, you'd expect Grub to go overboard with the new game mode, adding thousands of unnecessary gimmicks, but no, the mode is very well introduced here. After Rob dying to his own skill issue, we're teleported into the first ever platform level that's going to be in the game, unlike this preview. While we don't get to explore it, we do get a preview of the map, along with a new nugget looking collectible. For a first sneak peek, it was done pretty well. Sure the gameplay was confusing at times, but the amount of new features introduced was refreshing, and the decoration looks good. Let's see what Rob does with all this hype. Our second sneak peek would release on August 13th, 2022, being the 9th anniversary of the game this time. The amount of excitement from the community before the premiere was absurd, and it was inevitable that expectations would be way too high for the community's own good. The first thing we see when entering the level is the new spider orb, which had been previewed a couple months back. Personally, I like the old design more, but the new one isn't that bad either. The way this orb works is that it's a spider, both in an orb. Shocking, I know. Unlike the previous level, we were instantly thrown into the action, and that's likely due to the level being harder than deadlocked, with it being 16 stars according to data miners. While it isn't awful, I still would have loved for features to be introduced more gradually, as it feels like there's a new feature every millisecond. We are then shown a teleport orb, which I'm not sure if it's an actual orb creators can use or a custom orb that Rob made for the level, as this looks very convincing. Again, this feels like a feature that could have been more slowly introduced, as it was only used once throughout this entire sneak peek. Our next feature introduced a second later is the new force blocks. These blocks are similar to jump pads, but they work in every direction, allowing for interesting gameplay ideas. The way it's used here is pretty strange though, as it could have just been two gravity portals, but I digress. This level has to be the most controversial out of all of them, as it features this segment, where the camera rotates and then goes any chance of be beating explorers when it releases. This segment sounds good on paper, but the way it was executed really concerns me, and I pray that Rob Tumble nerfed this before the update releases. Before being rudely interrupted by Scratch, we get a snippet of what the boss could look like, and in all honesty, I don't even know what this is. The only guess I really have is a shopkeeper, but that's a shot in the dark. There is so much that this boss could be, and I'm very excited for the possibilities. With how well Prestar's boss fight was done in Sub Zero, there's hope that this one could be done well too. But I don't know, I could be wrong. After being showcased a feature called the tower, the sneak peek ends. Despite shoving so many features down your throat, it surprisingly introduced the least features out of all of them, leading to many members in the community being very disappointed. Gameplay and lack of features really bring this one down, but the decoration keeps it from being a complete failure. Personally, with some touch-ups, I believe this level could be one of the best out of the official levels, but we'll have to wait and see. Can the third sneak peek redeem itself? Our third sneak peek was released on August 13th, 2023, being the 10th anniversary of the game. Wait, so turns out Rob decided to shadow release the third sneak peek early, unlike the last two which were announced everywhere. Honestly, I think this was a better move, as there isn't a third main level, that we know of at least, so expectations wouldn't be too high. Remember that platformer level that was showcased in the first sneak peek? Well, this is what I can assume being related to that. You see, throughout the years of development for 2.2, Rob has continuously teased a new section of the game, that being the map. This will function almost like a Mario World map, where you'll be able to travel across the world. These two platformer levels are probably part of it, as their decoration is very similar to one another, and I doubt he would put a platformer level in the official levels page. This time, instead of being in the toilet after Chipotle, we're in this intriguing cat castle like level, which confirms a theory I've had for a while. You see, a couple years ago, Rob previewed a new villain for the series, called The King, 
It was supposedly only concept art, but I believe Rob stuck with the idea, as there's multiple hints scattered everywhere. When you approach the end of the level, a security camera scans you, with text popping up saying, I see you. Now, this on its own wouldn't be very special, but during the dialogue between Rob and Scratch in Sneak Peek 1, Scratch claims that they're being watched. Going back to the level, we're finally introduced to sound effects, which were planned for 2.3, but were added early. These sound effects are so good, and is what platform mode desperately needed. These sound effects also seem to get quieter the further away you go from them, which really adds to the atmosphere I must say. After being shown the millionth animated lava object coming in 2.2, we approach a poor manix monster trapped in a cage, which has been a recurring issue over the past few sneak peeks. Now this might be far-fetched, but I believe it's possible that these were imprisoned by the king, and that they weren't against us. I know this sounds like the Foxy is a good guy theory from Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's definitely plausible. After deciding not to help this poor soul out, we are introduced to the first ever use of the checkpoint in a Rob Top level. This feature has been in 2.2 for years, however the previous version looks completely different to what it is now. It could be a custom object Rob made himself. However, I think this will be the official checkpoint design in 2.2, instead of being a white circle. Skipping ahead, we see fireballs shoot out of pipes, using the new keyframe system Rob showcased a couple months back which looks very clean. Imagine how many scale triggers it would've taken to make this animation if not for keyframes. We're also shown a new saw object, which looks like a remix of an old one. This could be a custom object, however it looks way different than the current one we have. As we scavenge these spinning saws, we're also able to see a blue coin that's nearly off screen. And in all honesty, I have no idea what on earth this object is. Possibly, you have to collect multiple to get a coin. But that makes me wonder if there are even coins in the map levels in the first place. It could it also unlock a secret area in the map, but I doubt it. This was one of the best sneak peeks released, despite not showing off an insane amount of features. It's clear that Rob is slowly learning from his questionable gameplay design from the past two levels, as this looks very fun to play. While there weren't many gameplay gimmicks introduced, the ones that were included were very well put together. This was probably the most consistent sneak peek out of all of them, and probably my favorite. Dash's sneak peek is B tier, Explorer's sneak peek is D tier, and Sneak Peek 3 is A tier. Let's hope before the update that the levels get polished up, as in its current state, it's pretty questionable. This also is the last feature showcase we're getting before update 2.2 releases, which feels so wrong. It feels weird to actually have the update coming soon, as it's felt like it's been a falsy for years. If this doesn't get released on the 10th anniversary, I don't know what I'll do. I didn't cover every 2.2 feature in this video though, so these are 19 features that are coming in 2.2 that'll definitely make it worth the wait. Go check it out, and as always, thanks for watching.